I'm going to ask you the Haiti of W's top five, which is what I do um, every time we wrap up a show. Okay. So it's just five random questions about yourself. Okay. And they're fun questions, but, you know, let me see. Well, one of them is not. <laughs> But um, but it's just something I always kind of like to like know something kind of personal about someone. Okay. So, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so, who is your favorite artist and why? My favorite artist, like music artist. You can say any type of artist. Okay. Well, my favorite music artist is it's probably gonna be uh between Jay Z and Nas. Okay. I know that sounds crazy because no, it's like they they up there, right? But you know, <laughs> it's almost like somebody saying they like LeBron James, right? You know they're gonna they're gonna hate uh, it. Yeah. Like why you why you try to pick the best player? But yeah. they just I love their music. They mm -hmm. always got like a message in their mm -hmm. music, uh, and it be like good messages, stuff that get you going. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, so I like that. That's the type. Them the type. Of, I like to listen to albums where I can listen to the whole album. Without right. having to change it, yeah. Dim the two that I can listen to, like right now. Nas just dropped King Disease too. Yeah, you I heard me? some of it. it and then good. they just dropped a song together, like Sorry Not Sorry. I'm not. I don't even think it's that many songs with them on each on the same song, but Sorry Not Sorry. And Nas? Yeah. Oh, they have one on his um new. Album? That's on DJ Khaled album. Okay. But, you okay. know DJ Khaled like the All Star yeah. album guy. So, yeah. Uh, but he got them two on the same song. But Nas just dropped his new album, so but I like both of them. They they dope. All right. Um, so if you could have a meeting with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? If I can have a meeting with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? That's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It would be with my mom, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> real I like that. I ain't seen her since I was that's seven, so. Up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, no, I guess it ain't that hard, so. Yeah, yeah. it would definitely be with my mom, for sure. Okay. Mm. Um, if you had any advice for your younger self, what would it be? Any advice for my younger self? Um, the advice I would give to my younger self is I see greatness in you. <laughs> All right. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Very motivating. Short and sweet. <laughs> to the point. Um, how do you handle criticism on something you are passionate about? Hmm. I guess that's one thing I could possibly work on. I don't get a lot of criticism. I guess uh, the more criticism or positive criticism that I receive, the more I will be able to receive it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, basically, I don't get a lot of criticism. So, if I did create criticism, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to take it that much. I mean, I can... I don't know how I take it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't receive it that much. So it's yeah. like, you know how, it, just like somebody trying to criticize you and criticize your show or something. Like, you know who you will receive it from and you know who you will be like, they hating. Yeah. yeah you yeah. is a hater. <laughs> Stop hating on me. I don't care what you think. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, I would have to receive more criticism, more like depending on the criticism, positive criticism, mm -hmm. bad criticism. For bad criticism, I know for a fact if it's online, I don't feed into online no. criticism. Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody, I can't. I'm too old. <laughs> Come I on just, now. I'm past the age. <laughs> Listen, if you up there, you'll never stoop down to somebody's yeah. level because yeah. basically you'll be giving them a hand up. You'll yeah. be putting them on your platform. So if you up there, yeah. you'll put somebody on your platform just by acknowledging them. Yep. But positive criticism, I'm all for it. You yeah, know what I like, mean? Like, hey, you can do this, or I see you. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm all for that. that. Like I can receive said, it. Yeah, it and it depends on the from. scenario, where I'm at, stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it for me. Okay. And the last question, and we pretty much already kind of covered this one, but I had it on here. What inspires you just to just continue to give back? What just name like that one thing that just motivates you? It's like, you know what? I got to do this. This is this is it. Uh, honestly, for one, I would say that uh, it's not a lot of people doing this work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of, or if, or, or, or if I could rephrase it, it's not a lot of people that really got they heart in it. Yeah. You know, you can go out and give back, but it's it's a di it's different ways to give back. You can go yeah. out and give back, hand somebody some food, and walk away. Yeah. And don't even look at them. Yeah. You know, and still look down at them. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> Why right. you go out there for? Yeah. 
my my whole point is when I like when I talk, I, I I realize even when I'm talking to people, it's different forms of giving back. You know, sometimes you could just be talking to somebody, just uh, and somebody being a listening ear, and you could say something to, like I pierce people. I don't heard people tell me that I pierce through people. You know what I mean? So basically, uh, I just think that uh, it's like the way people receive it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if I'm saying something, I'll see people people telling me i didn't ask them that it came from the people it's almost like little baby said he said i ain't uh i ain't never said i was the goat the people said it. i never said i was the goat mm -hmm. people tell me this like mm -hmm. bro keep doing what you're doing yeah. bro keep keep on giving them messages out i used to send out quotes every day like mm -hmm. i've gone to rap scene in detroit uh same here i did in dallas just go out on the rap scene i get numbers i shake a million hands with covid i kind of slow down on yeah. that <laughs> but when i go in a place when i'm in the building i'm shaking hands yo how you doing you all right today peace and love bro nice yeah. to meet you yeah. you know what i mean i'm it, one of them type of people, people yeah and people told me like they... don't yeah. stop doing that bro yeah. don't stop being that for people mm -hmm. you know so that motivates me and that keeps me going that fuels me uh what what don't feel me or what keep me down is basically not doing what i'm supposed to be doing yeah you know what i mean when you know you're supposed to be doing something yeah and you ain't doing it yeah I'm, I feel how you gonna right feel <laughs> how, that's gonna, how that's gonna make you feel right you yeah. like i'm supposed to be doing this yeah. you started you got it going uh you ain't doing it no more now you feeling like anxiety yeah you feeling shame all mm -hmm. type of stuff different emotions yeah so that's what it is for me if i'm not doing that then that's gonna be affecting me some type of way yeah. you know what i mean so i need to be out there doing that work okay. i need to be out there giving yeah. back <laughs> you know because okay. that's what feel me you know yeah real talk okay well tell everybody where they can find you talk about um all your social media handles your youtube channel that i stalked i got on your youtube channel listen to some of your music so tell them all that okay what you what you think about the music first i liked it i had one song written down here but we were it's um walking my purpose walking in my purpose yeah. wow walking in my purpose mm -hmm. Walk, you know how I, i'm a, i'm gonna try to speed it up i made this song uh when i was uh me and my i had my daughters i got twin daughters okay and we was kind of down and out and i had no whip or nothing like that yeah. but i was i had to get them to school and i was mm -hmm. catching the bus back and forth to school with them and i created this song while riding the bus real that's talk so it's, it's, hey. a, it's a deep message in that uh because that's what it's about walking in your purpose yeah uh but y'all can follow me on uh instagram at the real king Y D A R E A L K I N G R O N. uh you can follow my facebook at king ron ron king uh it's the same thing also can follow me on twitter at the real king ron as well uh Good, good chatting with y'all. Appreciate you for having me, Sister Erin. Shout out to Hey DFW. Hey. It don't stop. <laughs> all right, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all social media platforms at Hey DFW. Bye.